My name is Antonio Helio de Castro Neto, and I am the director of the Graphene Research Center at the National University of Singapore, or NUS. The Graphene Center was created by NUS for the study and development of nanomaterials that are atomically thin, as is the, is the case of graphene, and that behave in a manner that is completely different from conventional materials such as metals and semiconductors that are the basis of our current technology. The Graphene Center has laboratories with the last generation of equipments for the synthesis, fabrication and characterization of graphene and other nanomaterials, besides a state-of-the-art nanofabrication facility which is unique in the world. Moreover, the Graphene Center has a wide network of collaborations around the world in the United States, Europe, Asia, and Brazil that allows the student to have an opportunity to broaden his or her horizons, transforming his or her studies in a worldwide experience. These new nanomaterials, besides being a challenge from the perspective of basic science, have a technological potential that remains greatly unexplored. Since these materials are extremely thin, conductive and transparent, they have applications in areas that uh, range from flexible electronics to coating of surgical equipment. However, the Graphene Center is only one example among many others within NUS that dedicate its efforts in a large number of activities, not only in science and engineering, but also in human sciences, medicine, pharmacy, among others. The creation of centers of excellence and innovation such as the Graphene Center, is only possible because Singapore has invested consistently and in the long term in research and development. This is one of the reasons why the center of gravity in science and technology is moving from the United States and Europe towards Asia. This change follows the motion of the world's economy towards Asia. In fact, Singapore occupies a special position in Asia, being located in a strategic position between China, India, and Australia. Singapore is a cos cosmopolitan city-state with a first world profile where English is spoken by all, where different people with different beliefs and religions live in, in, with each other in peace and harmony. Singapore is also one of the safest places in the world within the lowest indices of criminality and violence. As added bonus, Singapore is located close to paradisiacal places in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. Given that Singapore is now located in the center of the world's development, NUS is at the center of scientific and technological development in Singapore. This makes NUS unique when compared to other universities around the world. NUS is a true center of entrepreneurship. Hence, besides being considered among the three best universities in Asia and among some of the best in the world, NUS provides an opportunities that are unique for students who are interested in developing their own ideas, patents, and companies. Recent examples of success by NUS alumni are 10Cube, acquired by McPhee in 2010, and PeakSpy, acquired by eBay in 2012. Therefore, NUS, besides offering an education at the highest level, within an environment that is truly international, it also offers opportunities that are unique for people who are really interested in prosperous and bright future. I really hope to see you here in Singapore sometime in the future.